Welcome back to the War Corgi YouTube channel today. I'll be doing an unboxing of Black Powder Red Earth's new expansion to the 28mm ultra modern skirmish game, Black Powder Red Earth. This is called Phase Line. It does retail for $300. And uh, comes, this is the complete target package, so you get everything as we'll go through in the video. It is all made here in the United States under fair labor practices. And I think. Uh, you know, as we go through, I'll talk about the quality and I'll talk about, you know, the miniatures and everything else. So you'll see for yourself what you're getting for this $300. At the end, I'll kind of wrap it up, let you know, and uh, give you some close-ups of the videos of the miniatures. See exactly what you're getting. And then you can decide. But we've been enjoying the heck out of Black Powder Red Earth here on the Work Over YouTube channel for the last uh, maybe eight, nine months. And we're really looking forward to this expansion. It brings new rules into the game, brings new character classes into the game, and a whole new style of gameplay with much bigger games. So look forward to making some battle reports over that, but let's get to the unboxing now. So here's the box that the expansion comes in. As you can see, it's pretty hefty. On the back, it's gonna show you everything that we're gonna get. So that's gonna be 24 miniatures split between the Iari, Hongbin Mercenaries, and Crisis Troop Scorch, of course. We're gonna get a couple buildings, these little terrain enhancement components, which I'm really excited about, and some new cards, I believe, along with the rule book. So let's take a look what's inside. And you can see they've really upped their game when it comes to the box art for this stuff as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and Pull everything out of the box and then get set up so you guys can take a look. And the easiest way to do this is going to go ahead and move the box. Okay. That's everything. And uh, let's start with the big bag of new buildings. Now I know there's three new buildings for phase line and one of the things that they've introduced now is multi-story buildings, which we're gonna see right away. I've been curious to see how they're gonna do this. So we got uh, buildings one through six in the main box. And so now we got seven, eight, and presumably nine. Looking at building eight number here, it looks like this is the second story with uh, stairs going down. And then first story with stairs going up. So yeah, clearly they fit on top of each other. Not sure how we're gonna do that on the game board yet. But it does add some interesting tactical dilemmas to the game when you have people shooting down at you from the second floor of the building. Okay, and then we got another ginormous building in number nine here to kind of go along with, I believe, number four in the base book, which is cool. Okay, put those to the side. We have the full color rule book I see with all the new expansion rules to play phase line. One of the nice things about this game and the rule set is it is really streamlined but it maintains the tactical complexity that you would expect from a modern, ultra-modern combat game. Okay, so expanded rules. We've got the phase line, which is played on a much bigger map. So this is gonna be 52 inches by 26 inches. You're gonna be able to trade space for time if you're the bad guys, or time for space if you're the really bad guys. we got the rules. Looks like we're gonna be moving across the battlefield, hitting various phase lines. We got new rules for close quarters, battle weapons, grenadiers, heavy machine guns, and multi-story structures. I'll have to take a look at that. And along with that, the new phase lines will have uh, new maps to go along with this. So that's one, two, three, they just look huge. Four, five, five new maps. Keep you playing busy. Now this is what I'm really excited about this new 
expansions, the new war fighting units. We're going to have a Recce Raider, Assault Grenadier, tossing 40 millimeter grenades all over the board. Automatic Rifleman Heavy to complement your Automatic Rifleman Light. I believe these guys are going to be able to knock down doors from a distance. We got the Mutasib Sapper. Looks like he has a movement range of 8. That's the first movement range of 8 we've seen on the Mutasib Hongbin ARE side. Uh, Hongbin's going to bring their own Grenadiers. Then we got a Shurta PKM Gunner and Assistant PKM Gunner. Interesting. Okay. We got a number of new Fires cards, which is four phase line, and then Intervention cards, which can be used phase line or the standard game. And then we got some new Battlefield and Atmospheric cards to include a Waste Pond Inferno. Add into the collection. And then at the end, it looks like we have uh, miniatures at war with uh, miniatures that are clearly painted better than mine. But very inspiring. Get some ideas just flipping through this book on how to paint your own guys. There's the blue jeans that I'm so fond of. Oh, fantastic looking stuff. Okay, so that's uh, 56 pages right there with the new rules. Let's get to what I'm really excited about, and that's the, the minis, of course. And these are the terrain enhancement pieces. Looks like we got a number of doors, and it looks like we have different styles of doors. A little bit of flash on there, we'll clean up. Three separate types of doors. It looks like on first glance, and a total of 10. That's gonna be fantastic. And then I'm really excited about these corner pieces. You can place these on your, on your two dimensional building structures and it's gonna make determining line of sight a little bit easier as if you have one of those lasers like we use on the channel, you're gonna be able to go ahead and see whether or not it intersects with these nicely detailed with some bullet holes in them uh, wall corners and then since they're light and they're mobile but very sturdy uh, you can move them to various places on the battlefield where you need to determine that line of sight as you're going along especially looking at phase line and how big that map is you can just you know grab and move these to whatever phase line you're you're moving towards make sure your line of sight's all straight Okay, gonna put these cards to the side for a second and come back to them. Got some miniatures. This is gonna be the Hongbin Mercs ARE Guard Close Combat Kill Team. Now you can order these separately on the rep website. This, of course, is the complete target package. Uh, that has everything. You got your 25 millimeter bases. And then, oh, a ton of Long Ben Mercenaries and ARE. Okay, so we got a new enabler, and since phase lines can be playing at 500 points, uh, that means you can bring multiple enablers. <clears throat> so we got a new Hong Ben enabler there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we got a Merc Grenadier number three, Grenadier number two. Grenadier number one, so plenty of minis in here. The PKM Gunner, oh, he has a nice looking machine gun, and PKM Auto, uh, that's the little assistant guy. Let's pull him out real quick. Ammo, not auto, <laughs> read better. Oh, he's looking really good. He's just got rounds hanging off of him, ready to feed that heavy machine gun that his buddy's toting around. Uh, Shirt at number six. So, in originally we only had, I believe, three Shirt ups. So now we're up to Shirt at number six. Put a little um, different number of guys, different poses on the battlefield now. Of course, the Shirt are like five points each, so you tend to run a lot of them. It doesn't matter if you have some poses that are repeated, but it's always nice when you get a little bit of variety. Okay, we got Sappers here. Got through this a little bit quicker. 
Grenadier number four. So we're up to four Grenadiers. Another Sherda for an alternate pose. Another Sapper. Might have been the same Sapper. <laughs> Sapper. Uh, Sherda number four. So we got three separate Sherdas now. And Sapper number three. And Sapper number four. Okay, so we got an advisor. We got four Grenadiers. We got the Machine Gunner and his Ammo Buddy. We got four Sappers. Now we're gonna bring some much needed speed to that side. And then three new Sherda models to go along with the ones that I already have. Okay. Those miniatures look fantastic. We're gonna take another look at them after I get them put together for you guys at the end of this video. Crisis Team Scorch. See what we got going on here. You know, some people balk at the cost of this complete targeting package, but you get a ton of miniatures in here. And then when you break it down by many, I think it's a very competitive price point. All this stuff is made in the US and the quality is top notch, top notch. Okay, so we got Grenadier here, number four. Okay, that implies there's gonna be at least three more of them. Grenadier. Light machine gunner. These guys come in uh, pieces, of course, for you to put together. But oh, that's a beautiful looking weapon system he has there. And of course, guys, nods on and some other bits. I know that they went with a new method of producing the miniatures. I believe I'm no expert on such things, but Miniature War Lab I think covered it pretty well. We got a Rucky Raider. Another advisor, advisor number two. The advisors are so good. Bringing those drone strikes down on everybody. Another Raider. Another Raider. I have to play with these guys to see how they differ from the regular Raiders. I know they got the uh, close combat weapons, which are gonna make them interesting. Uh, grenadier and Grenadier. So that's four Grenadiers, the Light Machine Gunner, the Advisor, and then four new Raiders. Nine models for CT Scorch. And uh, good ones at that. Okay, last thing we got, cards. Always excited about the cards. They make it nice and easy to play with these handy dandy reference cards essentially. Go ahead and open them up. I said, open them up. <clears throat> when in doubt, grab the hobby knife. <clears throat> you already had a plethora of choices for intervention cards. Now we got more. It's gonna make that part of the game even more exciting and even more difficult when it comes to decision making. Okay. So we're gonna start off with some battle space cards. And again, these are, are well made. You don't have to worry about anything happening to these. I even feel comfortable playing with my son who is notoriously hard on cards. <laughs> these are the fire cards. We're gonna be using those for phase line only. Looks like we got some Ayari specific ones and two copies of those and we got some uh, CT Scorch ones, two copies of those. And then we got two copies, one for each player, I'm guessing. Ready to go there. <clears throat> Intervention guards are going to let you select missions at random for the phase line. And no, intervention cards we were talking about before. Okay, so these are all new and there's a lot of them. We got three second rule, death delay, target of opportunity, two copies of all of these. Hell, it's for heroes, I won't read that one. Turn to center, sounds dangerous, course of action, timetable, fix and finish, shoot first, hit first. That's always a good policy. Troops in contact. So all new choices for the players to have when they're setting up their intervention decks. Okay, now we got the new Battlefield rolls we got for CT Scorch, the Recce Raider, the Assault Grenadier, 
automatic heavy rifleman. <clears throat> On the super bad guy side, we got the Hongbin Mark Grenadier, and the Shirta PKM Gunner, and the Shirta PKM Assistant Gunner, and the Matasib Sapper. Now these are running, let's see, 30, 40, 50 points, 20, 45, 5, and 25 points. When you're playing 500 point games, bringing some of these guys is going to fill up your points fast, but it's going to make it very interesting. All right. So that's all the components. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and put these models together and come back and show you what they look like because I'm super excited about them. All the models are now put together and I figured out how to make these two-story buildings work. Thanks for some help on Facebook. But I want to go over all the components again and show you these models because they're fantastic. But you get the rule book, you get all the cards to include three new classes for the CT Scorch, four new classes for ARE Network, three new buildings including two two-story buildings, a bunch of extra terrain pieces to help make those buildings and then as I mentioned earlier, you can move these around in order to facilitate line of sight checks and things like that. So very convenient. We have battle space cards, fires cards, and intervention cards, which can be used during regular games of Black Powder Red Earth as well. Now let's take a look at these models. So up front here, we have uh, advisor number two in the heavy machine gunner. And then back right, we got the grenade launchers, grenadiers, and then we have the recce, recce assaulters there, which are fantastic. So total 10 new miniatures for CT Scorch. Over on the right, all kinds of ARE network to include in the Hongbin advisor up there in the front, surrounded by four Hongbin mercenary grenadiers. Over on the left, we got the PKM machine gun, his ammunition guy, three new Sherta models to go along with the other ones from the core, and then four Hongbin, not Hongbin, uh, those are um, uh, Mutasib uh, sappers. So fantastic stuff. Mentioned at the front of the video at the beginning that I would do a uh, little assessment. I did mention this cost $300 plus $30 of shipping, whether or not it was worth it. Absolutely. I'm so excited to start using uh, these new models, these new rules, these new buildings to play Black Powder Red Earth. The quality is astounding, just like the original box. I think they even upped their quality in a lot of ways. And they have put a lot of thought and effort into this release. Highly recommend you go ahead and invest that money, if you can, into uh, getting this uh, addition to the standard game and uh, go ahead and start playing Black Powder Red Earth. I do plan to do a video for the new phase line game mode. Looks very exciting. Anxious to try it out. And that will also be up on the Workhorse YouTube channel once it's done. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you feel the need. And there will be more Black Powder Red Earth coming here in the future. Bye bye.